What's up guys, my name is Techno, we're here for Troubleshoot, and today I've got an amazing video for you if you're like me and you have a metric ton of plugins for Premiere Pro. I used to have a lot more and when I did, my Premiere was actually a lot slower performance-wise when they were all loaded, startup times took incredibly long. Obviously I got rid of all the ones that I could, but the most efficient way of editing and cutting quickly and then starting up Premiere Pro with all of the add-ons and plugins for special effects, etc, etc, was to completely move them out of the plugins folder into a temporary folder to temporarily disable all of the add-ons that I didn't want. Now, of course, doing this every time you launch the program would take quite long, but it would really help performance and startup times for Premiere Pro if you're struggling with that issue. So here's a super simple batch script that I use, even though I have way fewer plugins than I did back then, this will still help you a lot with performance. Or, well, hopefully. So let's simply make a folder on our desktop called, I don't know, temp. For some reason, my screen's gone black. Anyways, opening up temp, let's make a new text document and we'll title it disable dot bat and make sure to get rid of the dot txt then hit yes if you don't have a dot txt that you need to get rid of go to the view tab at the top followed by file name extensions and make sure that's ticked next right click on it edit and now is where we need to find where premiere pro is installed so i know exactly where it's installed it's in c program files adobe adobe premiere pro cc 2019 for you it may be different but opening up the plugins folder common. You can see that I have a folder here called bulky plugins where I've got a bunch of test plugins and a couple of other files. And at the very bottom of this default plugin list, I have test1.prm, which is just another dummy plugin file. Anyways, so what we're basically going to do is we'll take these and put them into this folder here by running the batch script. When we want to enable them, it'll basically add them back automatically. So there's a super simple command for that. And that is quite literally move then in inverted commas the file or folder that you want to move so let's copy that c program files adobe w pro 2019 plugins common slash and now we want to move the entire bulky plugins folder so we'll highlight the name copy and paste that in here and then the second set of inverted commas here is where you want them to go so simply copy the temporary folder that you created put another slash and then make sure to include the plugins folder like that. So basically it'll make a bulky plugins folder here and move them from there to here. It's that simple. Then on the next line, we'll add the separate files that we want to copy. So let's just copy and paste the previous line and let's replace the bulky plugins folder with test1.prm like this. Done, save. Now, if you notice when we run disable.bat, quickly opens up and then disappears. So let's make a new line here and just type in pause, save it once again and run it. And you'll see access is denied. So simple way to fix that is right click, run as administrator, and then hit yes. You'll see both of the files or however many you have were moved. They're no longer in the, the common folder, but they're in your temporary folder. Now to get them back, all we need to do is simply copy and paste disable.bat and name it enable. Then we'll right click, edit, and we'll swap around the sets of inverted commas like this. That way, when we right click, run as admin, hit yes when prompted, they'll move out of the temporary folder and back into here. Super simple. So let's say that you want to take it a step further and you don't want to right click and then go run as administrator every time. But I found a useful piece of code that I'll link somewhere in the description down below. Don't worry, I'll also have downloads to these text files here. Just simple templates that you can edit yourself. But I'm going to paste it in at the top here, make about five lines so I know where my code begins. And that's down here. So hypothetically, you could add as many of these moves as you want. This up here is just for starting it automatically as administrator. So we'll do that to disable.bat, paste it in, add about a few lines, save it, and then you'll see that if we simply just double click, it'll open up, ask for admin, and boom, it'll move the files across. Just like that. Super simple. And it just says running admin shell, files moved, done. Super simple, super easy. Download links to these will be in the description down below. Just make sure to edit what's inside of the inverted commas to match what you're going to be moving in and out of your Premiere Pro folder. Super simple, super useful. You can also make shortcuts to these on your desktop or in fact put them anywhere else as long as you've got these inverted commas set up properly. 
That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Techno over here for Troubleshoots. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.